Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Game Straight One. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, first and foremost, let me explain something that um, the the computer that I usually use use to upload and edit my videos on crashed. So it's getting fixed, but in the time being, I wanted to do a, a quick video uh, for you guys. And this is kind of a little different video than what I'm used to doing. This is kind of a vlog, and I'm going to be it's kind of an opinionated video. I don't usually do many opinionated videos, but I really hope that. Uh, by doing this, I hope I get a lot of responses. I'd love to see some video responses. I'd love to see some some comments. Uh, this is a strong subject on a lot of gamers' minds, and we're going to talk about uh, seventh generation consoles and which one's going to win out the battle. It's hard to know. You know, I'm not a psychic. I can't foresee the future, obviously, but uh, I do have some opinions on, on on the consoles today, on the three major ones. Uh, but before I get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. Uh, for your support. I've reached over 3,000 subs. It's amazing. Um, I didn't think I would have 300 subs, to be honest with you, ever. And here I am with 3,000. So so thank you so much for your guys' continued support. Uh, it really hasn't come unnoticed. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to TV and Lust. He gave me a, a really cool gift for my other channel, Star Wars Not 77, and, and I'm going to be showing that in my next video on that channel. So thank you so much. His name's Craig. Super cool gamer. He focuses on gamers, uh, games as well. Check his channel out. His link is on the sidebar here. Uh, but we're going to talk about seventh generation consoles. Now, there's there's a lot of opinion. There's obviously the, the main three, right? You got the Wii, the Nintendo Wii, you got Microsoft uh, 360, and you got the PS3. The question is, which one's best? Well, here, here's the deal. I think it boils down to uh, what you prefer. Okay, Nintendo was smart. They uh, first of all, okay, the Nintendo was struggling. Okay, they had the GameCube was not doing very well. If the Wii didn't take off like it did. I think it'd be f fair to assume that the Wii would probably be Nintendo's last console, and Nintendo probably do what Sega did and produce games for other for other systems. That's my opinion. Wii took off. They're very smart. They they focus on the ca casual gamer. So what is a casual gamer? My opinion, the casual gamer is you know people who don't typically play games or haven't played games in the past. So you're talking about moms, uh, you know, young kids. Uh, you know that they were smart. Nintendo was smart in their strategy. Uh, Microsoft was very smart in the strategy as well. They were first to market. They beat everyone, uh, you know, by long shot into the seventh generation console market. So, uh, a lot of by the time the PS3 hit and the Nintendo Wii hit, a lot of people already had the 360 in hand. Uh, PlayStation, uh, Sony, uh, they were smart as well. Uh, their their strategy is more take it slow and surely. Okay, uh, I think there's a lot of balls to each system. I think each system has its perks. Uh, my my biggest concern about the Wii. Uh, is okay. So Nintendo's next system, the eighth generation system, uh, will those casual, casual gamers carry over? I don't know. I don't. I, here's my my guess is they won't. Uh, I think Nintendo needs. Uh, they were very smart in the strategy of the wireless controllers. I I think the Wii is a great system. I think well it, to a, to a point. I think uh, Nintendo has a lot of. They make a great first person uh, first party games. I think Nintendo makes a lot of great games for. Um, for the Wii. Uh, third party, not so much. Pretty weak third party support. Controllers, wireless controllers, yeah, they're cool. But essentially the Wii is, a, in my opinion, a, a GameCube with really cool controls. Um, uh, the Xbox 360, uh, you know, the, that's a good system as well. Um, obviously, I think it's got the best online right now. Uh, I, I'm kind of concerned about a couple things. Uh, the exclusives that are coming out for it. Uh, I think PS3 is only making a run. I think Sony's making a run with a lot of great exclusives. You got God of War 3 coming out, uh, Heavy Rain, uh, a lot of great exclusives for, for the PS3 are coming out that I don't. Uh, I think there's some good ones for uh, you know 360. I think Halo's franchise is great, uh, but you know I think there's graphically I think they're on par now. Uh, um, I, I'm concerned that um, for the Nintendo because I know both Sony and Microsoft are making wireless controllers so. I'm concerned that, you know, I hope Nintendo comes up with something better than the Re Re Wii Resort bullshit that they came up with as far as uh, the extender for the freaking controls. That, that was, I'm sorry, Nintendo, that was weak, okay? Um, I think Sony, I appreciate Sony. They, they backed their systems up 10 years. I think that's great. Um, I think it's, here, here's the deal. Boils down to this. you got to come out with systems. If each system were to come out, uh, t like, let's say, yesterday, they each came out yesterday at the same time, I think PS3 is probably the better of the three. Okay, the only reason more people like the 360 is because it had a first start, had a head start. But question is, will Microsoft drop the 360 like they did the Xbox, like a dirty shirt? It's hard, hard to know. 
but uh, I think in, in five, ten years from now, looking back on it, I think we're going to see uh, PS3 be the better of the systems. I think we're going to see, uh, I think the 360 is going to have great support as well. Uh, I, uh, I know Nintendo's really improved on the red, uh, red ring and death issue. Uh, you know, I think the, the failure rate, the new, newer systems, isn't quite as high as they were before. I think the earlier models are like 60% failure rate. I think now it's like maybe 5-10% failure rate. So the, yeah, they do fail still. Uh, and, and I think Nintendo, I think they continue to market to the casual gamer. They've obviously, obviously got a huge market share on the, the, the handhelds. Um, you know, the PSP, um, you know, it's, it's a great, it's, it's better graphically than the DS. You know, that, that's, I think that's a given. Uh, but I think the DS, if, you know, games are awesome, especially for a retro gamer like myself. I like the, the platform games that they have uh, for the DS. Uh, the PSP Go, you know, it's all digital. You know, I think, uh, unfortunately, I think that's the future of gaming. I think all games are going to be digital. Uh, you know, that's just maybe my opinion, but I think it sucks because you can't resell those games. Uh, I wish they would come up with a way to resell those games back to the marketplace, whatever have you. But you know, right now you can't. So there's no resell value in that. You can't trade them in or anything like that. So that sucks. But I think that's going to be, I think books are all going to be digital. I think movies are all going to be digital and games are going to be digital uh, in the future. So... That's just my opinion on, on seventh genera generation consoles. I'm not saying that Nintendo sucks. I'm not saying that either of the systems suck. I think it really depends on your preference as far as which you prefer to play. I do play all three of them, um, and I appreciate all three. And I think they're all three are, are different to depending on what you want. Um, I think right now I think the PS3 still has a long way to go as far as graphics go, but in the little time it's been around, I, I think that it's amazing. Uh, I played God of War three. Uh, when I was at PAX, and it's the graphics, let me tell you, blow you away, blow you away. So, I hope Microsoft, uh, you know, will hang in there. I think that I know they will, but uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Thank you so much for uh, so much for watching, guys, and take care.